Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the third look in the third eyeshadow palette out of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection. In this tutorial, we are going to be using the Dark Magic palette, which looks like this. This one was the most, like I was really, really, really excited about this because not a lot of people put out palettes with colors like this. And I personally don't really work with colors like this. It's a lot more cool, more green, things like that. Uh, definitely more of like a cool tone palette as opposed to say Armed and Gorgeous or um, Ring the Alarm in such a sense. So we are going to be doing this kind of like green look. I decided to go in with glitter because I haven't done glitter in quite some time. And yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much what I did. Um, before we get started, I do want to mention to you guys that so far um, I did only see one comment about me making this work too much <laughs> too much and giving it um too much of the benefit of the doubt i guess you could say because i'm on pr um i honestly just got on like my manager just got me on morphe's pr list like not even a month ago so i've only received the brushes in pr i bought this vault collection with my own money and it honestly was sitting on my desk along with these brushes for about a week before i decided to film with it because i was like i don't know if i i put it on instagram and asked you guys if you guys wanted to see and it was kind of like a like a 40 60 a lot of you guys wanted to see it and a lot of you guys did not and i finally was like okay i'll go ahead and post about it after the controversy had passed over because it just i don't know after all that controversy i was just like eh, i don't really want to get into that but um i have found that like just going back to me making it work too much that's not true at all um the palettes have been working really 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 well for me i haven't had any problems besides when i apply the matte shades on wet or tacky um, concealer or an eyeshadow base so that is the only problem that i'm personally having with these palettes but every single time i use these palettes um, i'm gonna just take secure which is just a warm transition shade out of armed and gorgeous but every single time i use these um palettes and i set down my base I have no problem. The eyeshadows blend perfectly. Um, the only thing I will complain about is these shimmers. Some of the shimmers are inconsistent. So you could either buy the palette and spray the brush with Fix Plus or, or setting spray or something like that, or you can skip on the palette altogether. You know, I'm personally not here to shill or make you guys buy something that is not me. I honestly, Put these videos out so you guys can see how they work see how they do and determine your own opinion you know it's not just me out here making videos there's a lot of different girls that make videos as well and you can watch theirs or you can watch mine or watch both of ours and form your own opinion i think that's the main thing that all of the influencers have to say is just you know watch our videos and form your own opinions that's pretty much it like when I started watching YouTube videos, when I started watching like Nitra B, Crispy, Desi, um, uh, Jackie, I know way back in the day, I would watch those videos mainly to learn how to apply and do makeup, but also just to figure out what works, what's good, what's not, you know, and then buy it if I want it or buy it if I don't, or don't buy it if I don't. Like it's this is it's ugh. <laughs> okay, so rant over um i'm going to take the shade potion which potion and uh and top secret are pretty similar potion and top secret are pretty similar i would say top secret is just a teensy bit darker but they are pretty much the same shade um so this palette i know won't appeal to a lot of people um i'm taking a jh34 from her brush collection i know these um these pa this palette won't appeal to a lot of people which is why i wanted to go ahead and do this look but i honestly should have did a different look i should have just put this color all over the lid and smoked it out and th did it like that but i was trying to do something different i guess but so far, so good with this palette. I was honestly nervous because this palette didn't swatch very well when I was watching 
her um, eyeshadow reveal palette reveal thing. It didn't swatch very well and swatches don't really mean a lot to me because you don't swatch the eyeshadow on your lid. You apply it with a brush. So like when I look at swatches and things like that, I or reviews or things like that, I like to see brush swatches because I wanna see you know how the pigment is going to apply. And also you have to take into consideration a lot of these swatches don't have a concealer or an eyeshadow base or anything like that underneath of it. So it's not going to apply the same that it would apply on your eye as it would on your arm. So you have to take all of this into consideration when you're watching a video or when you see swatches or things like that. Some people do apply a base underneath of their swatches so that way you get the accurate, um, you get an accurate representation of how it'll apply which some people get mad about that and I don't understand I don't understand why so many people get upset you don't get upset when you see a hamburger com uh, commercial for McDonald's you see the Big Mac commercial and it looks juicy and tender and it's just bulging with ketchup and mustard and everything like that and then you go to McDonald's and you get a Big Mac and it looks subpar you're not upset about that you're still gonna eat your damn hamburger so it's like marketing and and advertising and everything like that is everything especially for a brand so i don't i really don't understand why everyday people everyday folk including myself get upset when influencers are doing things to make their product appear a little bit better when it happens in every single industry like literally every single industry just my personal opinion just my personal opinion that's it. So now I'm going to take Inside Job, which is a dark, 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 like matte green. I would say like a, uh, more of like an emerald, more of like a deeper emerald. I wouldn't say forest because forest, I feel like is a little bit, um, I don't know. It, this has a little bit more blue in it, but it's not a teal like Busted. Busted is a teal. But I'm taking a Jaclyn, Jaclyn Hill 35, so JH35 brush, and I'm just applying this really tightly into the crease. I'm also going to pack this color out into the outer edge. And I applied tape while I was ranting about, um, you know, what I was ranting about. I applied tape just so that way I have a nice, clean, crisp edge. And I think what I'm going to do is connect this to the lower lash line and make it really dark and smoky under there and go like that. But I'm keeping this color pretty tight to the crease. Just like so. And then I'll go back over it with a little bit more of Potion just to help blend it out. I really like this shade. What I like about this palette is it's n it's not a really conventional palette. So what I mean by that is like not a lot of these colors are usually put into palettes and I really, really, really like that. I feel like that makes this palette stand out more than the other palettes like Armed and Gorgeous. There are tons and tons of palettes that are warm or um, have those colors but not a lot of palettes have these greens and and cool tone browns and this pewter kind of color right here in the corner which is like a purpley like a purpley grayish color and then you have mojo which is like that purple color like those two I want to do another look with that palette this palette and use those two colors because those two colors are really really nice but not a lot of palettes have colors like this so right now you see me just taking more of potion and just going over the top of inside job and just using that to blend out over the top so you have a nice gradient of the green okay so now I'm going to take what's left of my concealer and just do like a small half cut crease this just gives me a nice crisp kind of lid space nothing more nothing less Okay, you guys, so now I'm going back into the palette and I'm going to take Trickery, which is right here. Now, this is an emerald green. 
It is the epitome of emerald green. I'm using the same JH41 brush. And this eyeshadow I am having to dig into, so it gave me a little bit more of a harder time. Um, some of the shimmers are super, super, super buttery, no problem at all. And some of them are just like not really that pigmented. So um, that is pretty much my thoughts on the shimmers, like the mattes. As long as you set them down, set your, your eyeshadow base down, you won't have any problems with the mattes. And I know that a lot of influencers stopped doing that. And it was vice versa for me. I used to never set down my concealer. And I just found that once I started setting it down, it became 10 times easier to do my eyeshadow looks. And they look 10 times better. Um, and a lot of people don't do that anymore. A lot of people apply their eyeshadow to a tacky or wet or sticky base in hopes that it'll give it more pigmentation. And sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But you can't do that with every single eyeshadow. Like, you just can't. <laughs> you just can't, unfortunately. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to apply some NYX Glitter Primer. Just a teensy weensy little bit. And a look. And a little bit of the MAC Glitter and Emerald. So this is huge. This will last you forever. That's what she said. So I'm going to apply it with a little BH Cosmetics brush. And just stamp it over. Because I'm not doing like an intense glitter look. Sometimes glitter is fun to work with and sometimes it's not. Um, in an instance like this, I could have skipped out on the glitter, but I haven't used glitter in so long. My inner glitter demon was like, yo, that, yo, that. <laughs> okay, so now I decided not to go in with eyeliner. I could have gone in with eyeliner, but I'm going to take the JH43, which is a flat definer brush. I'm going to take Temptress, which is a black and just stamp it along my lash line and the reason i like doing this is it gives it a little bit more of a, a smoky effect as opposed to a like defined line i guess you could say so i'm just going to stamp that along the edge and then drag it back in this black is actually pretty good yep just like that booyah <laughs> okay so now you guys I'm gonna apply these lily lashes off camera these are in the style um, Dara or Delara I'm sorry these are in the style Delara they start off smaller in the inner corner go out to be a little bit more wingy um, I wanted to do that with because I have like these smoky wings going on i'm gonna do my face and then i will come back on the camera for the lower lash line and also the lips i don't know what i want to do for lips i was going to do sepia but now that i'm thinking about doing a look using these two colors i kind of want to save sepia for this so yeah so i might just figure it out do i want to do another nude do i not want to do another nude who knows find out on the next episode of dragon ball z <laughs> Okay, you guys, don't hate me, but I accidentally, like, before I started doing my face makeup, or actually right after I got done doing my face makeup and I had my nose baking, I started smoking out the lower lash line. So what I did was just take more of the black shade, so more of Temptress, and just went right along the outer edge and applied that right underneath the lower lash line really tightly and connecting it out here so it's kept and like did like a straight line out and then i just use some of um some of potion with the jh40 brush and just uh use that right underneath just to smoke that out so i also had a nice pop of green underneath of there so you could see like a nice pop of green so that is what I ended up doing um, and then I popped on the Del Delahara Delahara lashes and did my face 
I do understand that some of you guys want to see my face routine and um, you've said that it's relaxing or that you enjoy it or it's just you just you just enjoy it you guys I would put my face routine in these videos if they weren't 30 minutes uh, if I weren't talking through the entire process because once I talk through the entire process it takes the video from anywhere between 12 to 15 minutes to 30 to 35 minutes so it just makes it so much longer and I just feel like that is just unnecessary so I'm sorry I'm sorry um this look I keep staring at this green and I am like bitch this is cute so um I also popped on some lashes these are the um oh my gosh what's the brand oh my gosh hold on let me look these are the Jojo Loves Bling earrings and I don't remember which style they are um but she sent them over and oh the Emerald City Cushion Bling that's what these are and they just go with the emerald kind of glitter that we got going on. Plus, they're different. They have some blues and some yellow hues. So, it goes really well with this eye look. Um, I'll have their Instagram handle down in the description box. So, that way you guys can follow them and also check out their earrings and everything like that. They have some really nice earrings. I love colored earrings and that's mainly what they create. So... For lips, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner. This is nothing new. I wish I could do something bolder with my lips, but I did something really bold with my eyes. So for this look in particular, I don't want to do bold and bold, although you could. But I'm going to skip it today. And then for lips, I'm going to use my Desi Katie No Shade. This is their lipstick. This is the neuter version. So it is really, really, really nude. Applied quite a bit of this, and then I'm just going to go over it with Downtown Beauty again just to blend it all out. So I am actually going to pop in an inner corner highlight just because I feel like I need to use another shade in this palette. So I'm going to take Power Cut, which is like a silvery kind of color, and I'm taking the JH38, which is a pencil brush, and I'm just going to put that right into the inner corner. Wow, this color is actually pretty pigmented. It's actually really pretty. I don't use a lot of silver often. I'm not a big silver girl, but this is actually really pretty. All right, you guys, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think of this palette? What do you think of this look? Uh, I'm, I'm actually more surprised at how it turned out than I was anticipating because, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was anticipating this palette to be extremely patchy because the swatches weren't really good but it actually exceeded my expectations like it looks pretty darn good <laughs> i know a lot of people aren't going to pick up this palette but i hope that if you did buy the vault collection this gives you some type of inspiration something to work with when you're working with the greens um mainly specifically the greens just continue to build on that color until you get the payoff and the pigmentation that you desire make sure that you're blending it out with small circular like buffing motions to blend that out if you want it to be extremely 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 pigmented you can always start by packing so patting on the color so that way the saturation of the color is in one specific area and then after you pack it on you can start to blend it with the circular motions so it all depends on how much of a color that you want and everything like that but also take your time when you're blending it out these aren't your regular purples or even your browns and oranges and coppers and peaches 
those colors are always going to be easier to formulate and easier to apply and work with than greens, blues, um, reds, pinks, things like that. Those are always going to be a little bit more difficult because you have to really pack in the color and you really have to make sure that you blend it out or else it'll look a mess. So that is just my little tidbit on that. I love this look. I love this palette. It turned out and it exceeded my expectations by far. Um, so far so good with every palette that I've used except if you don't set down your base your eyeshadows from these palettes will not work um, you might have to spray your brush with fix plus to get a maximum pigmentation especially when using um, the shimmers other than that the palettes are working for me and I'm not saying that just because I'm on the PR list y'all know me y'all have been watching me for the last five years two years three years a year six months three months yesterday whatever it may be you guys know me and you know that I'm not going to say things um, just because I'm on a PR list it does not matter that much to me but I'm just saying my experience so far has been a-okay let me know your experience. Let me know your thoughts down below. Tomorrow we will be doing a look using Ring the Alarm and that will be it from the series. That doesn't mean necessarily that I'm done with using these palettes. Of course, I'll dibble and dabble in some of the palettes, create some more looks over time. But in the sake of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes Vault Collection series, we will be done tomorrow. I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Turn on your post notifications if they aren't on already and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.